Efforts are underway to protect the coral reefs in South Florida, and some of that help is coming from mermaids. The 1000 Mermaids Artificial Reef Program is meant to raise awareness and help restore the reefs. CBS 4's Ted Scouten joins us with more on the efforts. Who knew that mermaids were for real, Ted? Right? Who knew? You know, what you're going to see, Elliot and Lauren, are, are these uh, artificial reefs all over town, all over Hollywood for the next few weeks. Some of them have mermaids on them, others are like what you see here, but they all have these little holes that you see right over here. This is for coral reef to place coral reef in there to grow more coral. The plan is to put these out in the water off of Hollywood Beach. It's mermaids to the rescue. They're part of the 1000 Mermaids Artificial Reef Project. We place sculptures to help draw in the public to use art as a problem solver to get people to care about the issues plaguing our coral reefs. Evan Snow is co-founder of Ocean Rescue Alliance that created the project. He tells us a total of 20 of these sculptures and modules will be placed in water off Hollywood Beach. Under the sea is where I like to be. Heather is a professional mermaid and diver. She is thrilled to know that help is on the way. To be able to bring the reefs back to life and have modules that we can continuously watch grow, um, it's just an amazing opportunity. One of our main issues really plaguing our coral reef ecosystems is a disease called stony tissue loss disease amongst uh, others. Shelby Thomas is a scientist and co-founder of Ocean Rescue Alliance. The plan is to use these sculptures to help restore South Florida reefs. She tells us they've been hit hard by stony tissue loss disease. She's looking to see if dredging may be part of the problem. If you think about if you're disturbing sediments that have been settled for hundreds of years, you're also disturbing bacteria and microbes that have been settled for hundreds of years and haven't been present in the wa water column. Once these sculptures and modules are underwater, coral fragments will be placed in these small holes. We can directly place them onto the base of this artificial reef to allow us to outplant more of these coral fragments, more of these super corals, which are proven to be the best chance and best breakthrough in helping us save our coral reefs. They also give safe harbor for smaller sea life. And they provide a lot of fish habitat so juvenile fish can seek protection from predators so they have a better chance of growing to adulthood and restocking and replenishing fish populations and fish counts. So the plan is to take uh, these 20 artificial coral reefs and put them out in the water off Hollywood Beach in August, depending on the weather. Uh, also, there are four locations around Hollywood where these are being placed right now. If you want to take a close look at them, you can do that just by going to those locations. You can also find out more information about the entire project just by going to our website, cbsmiami.com. Live on Hollywood Beach, Ted Scout, CBS4 News. A uh, beautiful site for divers and good for the uh, natural state of uh, the coral reefs. Katet, thank you very much. Uh